Sand implants are made to withstand almost anything. Watch me as I try to break it. Just over a year ago, I was one of the first plastic surgeons to start posting videos on TikTok. Now I have well over a million followers and I'm really enjoying creating these videos. I've reacted to other people's TikToks before, but I have had so many requests to share my TikToks right here on YouTube, so I thought, what the heck, let's do it. What's the difference between Botox and filler? Does Kylie have Botox? Does Selena have filler? Botox paralyzes muscles that create wrinkles. Wrinkles like these, these, and these. Filler can plump up your lips or your cheeks. So does Selena have filler? I think so. What about Kylie? What hasn't she had? There is a lot of confusion in the general public of what Botox does and what filler does. And they do two very, very different things. Botox is a neurotoxin. If you inject it into muscles, it causes those muscles to stop working, to basically weaken. That can cause wrinkles that are caused by those muscles to smooth out. I describe filler as basically liquid skin. We inject it through a syringe to basically fill in lines, to plump up the lips, or to plump up the cheeks. So there is a huge difference between the two. One is a neurotoxin that affects muscles and nerves. The other one basically just fills areas out. My day starts by going to the hospital for surgery. I grab the scrubs out of the machine. These are the instruments that I'll use for my surgery today. And this is my fancy light. Today I'm gonna to be removing recall breast implants and performing a lift. And as you can see, it took me four hours. These are the recalled breast implants that you don't want. And these are the smooth non-recalled breast implants you do. Then it's off to Starbucks and back to my office where I have an afternoon of Botox, post-operative appointments, and consultations. So I get people ask me all the time, what is your day like? Uh, typically, I have two types of days. I've got my surgery days and I've got my office days. And this was a surgery day. So usually I start my day by going to the operating room, performing anywhere from three hours to seven hours of surgery. And then I come back to my office, see some post-operative patients, maybe do some injections of Botox and filler, and then I'm back home. Here's a question from OG Poop Dealer. When does the you-know-what stop growing? In general, it stops growing once you finish puberty. One study from Denmark gave the age at 15 and a half. The one exception to this rule is in Washington politicians. Once they take office, their balls and Johnson start to shrink. Their unit retracts back into the remnants of the foreskin, until eventually their Johnson and scrotum end up disappearing inside their abdominal cavity. It's a known fact. I get the weirdest questions that people ask me on TikTok. Like, why are they asking me, a plastic surgeon, when their penis stops growing? So of course I've got to answer them. I posted this on TikTok and I had so many people think that I'm vegan after me posting this, when in reality, I'm not. Now, I'm all for eating less meat because I think as a society, we eat way too much meat here in the United States. And I think it's really important for us to realize just the resources that go into creating the meat that we eat. Being mindful of our food, of what we put in our mouth, where it comes from, and the resources that are necessary to create it, I think are so important in the 21st century. Of course not. All male surgeons wear special surgeon jock straps with extra padding that will prevent this from happening. I do, however, have it happen when I watch videos of Bugs Bunny and drag. Ooh. So that's like totally not true. <laughs> I just, once again, bizarre question, and I had to give an answer. Does a breast implant float? There's a joke that if somebody is drowning, their breast implants will act as flotation devices. So what do you think? Let's put it to the test. It floats. Remember, breast implants can save your life. People keep asking me, you know, do they float, do they float? And I thought, I have no idea if they float. Uh, but hey, you know what? They do float, and then does that mean that they can act as kind of life preservers if you are, let's say, gonna drown in the ocean? 
Well, if they're small implants, I don't think they're gonna do anything, but Pam Anderson, Kim Kardashian, who knows? What happens if you wake up in the middle of surgery? Many years ago, there was a young man who woke up in the middle of surgery while they were removing part of his colon. He jumped off the operating room table and ran out the door exiting the hospital. But eventually he came back to the emergency room carrying his intestines in a Lululemon bag. True story. I have performed thousands and thousands of operations in my career, and I have never had a patient truly wake up in the middle of surgery. I think when you hear these stories of people waking up in the middle of surgery, it's not necessarily that they had a general anesthesia where they've got a tube down their throat and they're supposed to be completely asleep, but it's probably more that they've had more of a sedation where you're technically given a medication to get you real sleepy, but you may wake up, you may get a little bit lighter during the procedure. I'm a surgeon. Lipo, blubber, away. Make your boobies bigger. Inject your lips larger. And use creams. I'm a surgeon. This video is a classic case of sometimes the idea is much better than the execution. When you get cremated but have silicone implants, do you become a puddle of gray slime? This is one of the dumbest questions that I've ever heard. Silicone breast implants are made of one of the most indestructible substances ever created. So when you become cremated, those implants will stay completely intact. That is why they create extra large breast implant urns for people who get cremated and have implants. Okay, so the truth is, if you die and you have breast implants and you're gonna be cremated, those implants are removed from your body prior to the cremation process. But I thought this was kind of a funny idea. Here's the real scoop of how much a plastic surgeon makes. As you can see, the average plastic surgeon makes 479,000, what? Why don't I get paid that much? So that is a lot of money, $479,000 a year. But it varies depending on what type of plastic surgeon you are. If you're an academic plastic surgeon doing more reconstructive surgery, you're probably gonna get paid significantly less than maybe a high-end cosmetic plastic surgeon who has ancillary services like lasers and injections and things like that. So how much do I make? I'm not gonna say, but I would just say that I feel very blessed to be making a nice living. People tell me I look like J-Hope from BTS, but an old version. Are you J-Hope's father? Why you look like the older version of him though? Why you look like J-Hope, but dad version? Well, if that's the case, then he should look like me when I was his age, like this. Why are you laughing? That really was a real picture of me from high school, my actual prom. I recently revealed that people tell me I look like a dad version of J-Hope from BTS. And this has caused other people to chime in. Y'all tripping, he obviously looks like Charlie D'Amelio? Actually, you look like Addison Ray. You look like Kevin Hart, but shorter? You look like Danny DeVito, what the fuck? Seriously? Danny DeVito? Who else are they gonna think of? You all think you can rattle me by telling me I look like certain celebrities that I don't resemble at all. Like, look, I don't look like James Charles. Your resemblance to Tilda Swinton is uncanny? No, it's not. You look like Perry the freaking platypus? Seriously? You look like Beetlejuice? Don't do beat like that. <laughs> All right, so last time it was freaking Danny DeVito and now we're talking animals and monsters. What will all of you think of next? That maybe I look like The Rock? Well, if you enjoyed these TikTok videos of mine, please comment and let me know because I'm happy to compile some more. Otherwise, take a peek at this video right up here where I react to other people's TikToks. TikToks that are hilarious and TikToks that will absolutely blow your mind. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.